Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. It is time for the April releases from Vinegar Syndrome and their many partners, which totals 12 releases from the partners, three releases from Vinegar Syndrome. We've got a lot to get through. Some of these I know a little bit about. The majority of them, as usual, I know nothing. And I'm always happy to hear other opinions or more knowledgeable people talk about some of these movies and let's just get into it with, uh, which I think is the biggest title released this month, Death Wish 2. Death Wish 2 on 4K. And I'm super excited about this. You know, it's been a long while since I've seen Death Wish 2. I, f I can differentiate that between any of the other sequels. I can't really, so... I'm really looking forward to getting back to it. I love the back image of this. Bronson's loose again. Nastier, grimier, and much more brutal than the original. Michael Winner's Death Wish 2 once again stars Charles Bronson, joined by Jill Ireland, as usual, Anthony Francisca, Robin Sherwood, and Lawrence Fisburne. Uh, loaded with non-stop action, suspense, and set to one of the few film scores composed by Jimmy Page, Vinegar Syndrome is proud to bring this canon film classic to 4K. Sounds awesome. So it's a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray Region A set. Um, so it's got the UHD presented in HDR, newly scanned and restored 4K from its 35 OCN, the alternate TV version restored in 2K from its 35mm interpositive, pass an interview with screenwriter David Engelbach, Working with Bronson, an interview with Robert F. Lyons. The Dark Parts, an interview with Robin Sherwood. Fights in the Theatre, interview with Todd Roberts, son of executive producer Bobby Roberts. Audio commentary with author and historian Paul Talbot. Theatrical trailer, reversible artwork and subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. I'm a subscriber. This is included with my subscription I cannot wait. All of these have got a street date of the 26th of April, as you see here, which is one day before my birthday, and I'm hoping it's going to arrive before then because I could do with some Bronson around my special day. Next up is another 4K Flesh Eater Revenge of the Living Dead. This is one that I have not heard of before. A lo-fi gore epic directed by the actor and cinematographer Bill Hinsman. It's Star, Zombie, in the classic Night of the Living Dead. Star, Zombie, in the Night of the Classic. <laughs> Star, Zombie, in the classic Night of the Living Dead. Flesh Eater is a fitting tribute and homage to Romero's chilling masterpiece, updating the setting to the late 80s while piling on the gut-munching, throat-ripping and limb-tearing action. Vinegar Syndrome is delighted to bring this highly ambitious slice of regional madness to 4K UHD. Okay, so this 89 minutes 1988 movie is a region free 4K UHD Blu ray set, uh, HDR, newly scanned 4K from its 16mm OCN, brand new commentary track with cinematographer Simon Mances, composer Erica Portnoy, and producer Andrew Sands. Zombie Nosh LLC an interview with producer Andrew Sands. All roads lead back to Flesh Eater, uh, interview with cinematographer. Uh, the family continues remembering Bill with Bonnie Hinsman. Carnage in compositions, interview with the composer. Family of Flesh Eaters, interview with actress Heidi Hinsman. Crushed pink grapefruit brain, an interview with special makeups effects uh, artist. To Live and Die in PA, <laughs> an interview with actor. Meatballs and Missing Legends, interview with unit man, uh, manager, minor budget majorette, interview with hairstylist, makeup artist, extensive behind the scenes stills, reversible cover art and uh, SDH subtitles. I've checked the trailer out in this one and got to say, this, this could go either way for me. I'm not 100% sold on it. Of course, I'm getting it as part of the subscription. Um, yeah, we, we shall see how we go on with this one. It uh, looks pretty... Oh, mm, could, could be novel. If you know anything about it, of course, let me know in the comment box. 
the low and the last and maybe the least uh, for this month's subscriber titles is Alien Private Eye. <sighs> Do you know, I, I've heard some things about this one. I'm curious if it's going to be like American Rickshaw, although that was pure enjoyment, that one. Aliens have long integrated themselves among the human population to the point that they are physically indistinguishable, except from their unique pointed ears, a physical trait they go to great lengths to hide or have surgically altered in order to fully blend into human society. Uh, Lem Rowe, an alien, has found his calling on Earth by working as a PI. One day, a beautiful, mysterious woman visits his office and shares the story of a mysterious disc-shaped artefact which has the potential to destroy the human race. Begging for Lemro's help in preventing such devastation, initially uncertain if he should take the case, Lemroy quickly finds himself embroiled in an intergalactic drug smuggling ring, hellbent on turning every human into a mindless junkie. Part sci fi, part neo noir, part action movie, and a pure passion project for all involved. Alien Private Eye is a genre bending powerhouse of gut crushing fight scenes, neon fueled hazy atmospherics. Okay, so I, I have heard the reputation of this movie and the reputation is not good. Of course, I'm willing to give it a shot. I am a subscriber. This may fall foul to collecting 2.0, but we shall see. Region free, blurry, newly scanned and restored in 4K from its OCN. Brand new commentary track with the writer, director, producer, Master of Suspense, interview with Vic Rubenfield, fashion show film noir, interview with the cinematographer, Mr. Lemro, private investigator, I presume, an interview with lead actor David Hill, reversible artwork and English SDH subtitles. I'm willing to give it a go. That's the best I can do. Now let's move on to the 12. Wow. Partner labels that have been released this month. There's some good ones here. Um, unfortunately, it comes down to finances, and I think I will be picking up one, maybe two at a push. Um, kind of thankful there's no VSA this month, I suppose. First up, we've got Fun City Editions, uh, movie number 11 in their collection, Born to Win. The cast alone demand that you sit up and pay attention to this one. It looks amazing. Uh, Jay was a hairdresser until his escalating heroin addiction broke up his family and overtook his life. And filmmaker Ivan Passer's fun city set Born to Win, Jay and his friend and fellow junkie Billy Dynamite are reduced to running scams all over town together, desperately angling for their next fix. When a free-spirited young woman falls for Jay, it seems they might have a chance to escape this bleak world together. But Jay's addiction means you're now never too far from the reach of a merciless drug dealer and pimp. George Siegel, Cadden Black, um, Robert De Niro, Jay Fletcher, Hector Elizondo. Pff, what a cast from 1971, an 89-minute movie. Um, just checking the trailer, it just looks something so something I want to see. Something that I sure do want to have uh, in my collection. I do like the Fun City editions, but man, that cast, the, the look of the movie, everything about it just looks really interesting for me. So Region A Blu-ray, it's a new 2K restoration from the Interpositive theatrical trailer and a booklet uh, by film uh, archivist and writer Justin La Liberté. Uh, newly recorded audio commentary by Jason Bailey and Michael Hull of the Fun City Cinema podcast. Yeah, sold on this one because I get the discount as well. Twenty dollars works out as a no-brainer. I will absolutely be buying Born to Win. Next up, we have Video Murders from Culture Shock. It's a SOV horror movie, I believe. Dave Lee Shepard loves his mother. He's a good boy. He wants to make his mother proud, but he also wants to videotape himself strangling prostitutes. Everybody should have a hobby. From one beautiful corpse to the next, Lieutenant Jerry Del Vecchio is getting closer to David. A reckless news reporter and a fatally friendly young woman get caught up in the mayhem. From 1988, 88 minutes, region-free Blu-ray, 
full-length commentary with first assistant cameraman, uh, moderated by film historian Brad Henderson of Vinegar Syndrome, uh, interview with the Insatiables, interview with actor John Fertitta, interview with first camera uh, assistant David Arkin, the Insatiables black and white music video, uh, original VHS audition footage, that could be interesting. Uh, Culture Shock releasing trailers and uh, the hard of hearing subtitles. Somewhat curious on this one. Um, please let me know more about this because I'm not 100% sold on it. Uh, tell me more. Please uh, make up my mind on this one. Uh, next up, we have Mother Schmuckers from Dark Star. Two brothers in their 20s are supremely stupid and never bored. As madness is part of their daily lives, when they lose their mother's dog, they have 24 hours to find him or she will kick them out. 71 minutes plus extras. 71 minutes is a really quick watch. Regine A. Blu-ray, uh, Natalie Fucks You All. Uh, I don't know what that is. Feature with sidecar subs. Trailer with sidecar subs. Short film. Uh, Radio Kiff. Uh, and a lot of other stuff that I won't even attempt to pronounce down here. Um, <sighs> looks kind of funny. Looks kind of cheap as well. I'm not 100% sold on it. Looks as if it's one of those movies that just tries to be offensive for the sake of it, which I'm not against. I did love Donnie's Bar Mitzvah after all. Will I jump on it straight away? I don't think so. I want to hear some reviews. I want to see uh, some th the comments about this one before I decide on it. Um, my teen adolescent inner self who wants nonsense like this is curious. Next up, we have Take Me Somewhere Nice from Dick Analog. It's one debacle after another for Alma, when her long estranged father is hospitalised in his native Bosnia. Not quite headstrong young woman leaves her home in the Netherlands to visit him. When she lands at the airport with a few Bosnian phrases and a new dress, her distracted older cousin Emir neglects to drive her to the hospital, preferring to hang out with his buddy Dennis, who has a girlfriend so don't even think about it. After dyeing her hair and outlasting her patience, she hits the road on her own, quickly losing her luggage, her money and her mooring, along a bizarre chain of events and interactions with a cast of road-weary characters, Alma faces disappointment after disappointment, with devil may care detachment and newfound maturity. Looks really nice. Looks kind of funny. It looks like one of those movies I'd probably watch once but never go back to. It's a Region A Blu-ray. Interviews with the filmmakers. Uh, three short films, theatrical trailer, booklet, essay. There's a trailer on the Vinegar Syndrome page. Like I said, it looks somewhat interesting, but not enough that makes me want to pick it up. Next up, we have Other Music from Factory 25. This one looks quite interesting. Other Music was an influential and uncompromising New York City record store that was vital to the city's early 2000 indie music scene. But when the store is forced to close its doors due to rent increases, the homogenization of urban culture and the shift from CDs to downloadable and streaming music, a cultural landmark is lost. Through vibrant storytelling, the documentary captures the record store's vital role in music and cultural life of the city and highlights the artists whose careers it helped, including Vampire Weekend, Animal Collective, Interpol, Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs, and a load of other ones. So it's a region free Blu-ray. Extras reel with deleted scenes featuring Jason Schwartzman, Daniel Kleiser, uh, William ba uh, Basinski, and Gary Wilson. A commentary by a bunch of folk trailer, 38-page booklet featuring an oral history of other music, an essay by Tom Sharpling, and 100 albums to check out after you watch the documentary. This looks really fascinating. Now, I'm a collector. I am always fascinated by physical media, collector culture. I just don't think it's something that I would go back to again and again. I, I would like to see it. Um, I may see if I can get my hands on this, uh, maybe through online renting or something, uh, just because I'm, I think it looks really fascinating. But yeah, there's a, a trailer on here as well if you want to check out that. Next up, we have They Look Like People from Yellow Veil. 
Uh, suspecting that people are transforming into malevolent shapeshifters, Wyatt flees to New York City to seek out his estranged childhood friend, Christian. As the mysterious horrors close in on Wyatt, he questions whether to protect his only friend from an impending war or from himself. A genre-bending story of love, loyalty and living nightmares. Now this is from 2015. It's an 80-minute long horror movie and it seems to have a pretty good reputation about it. It's a region free Blu-ray. You've got an intro by the director, deleted scenes with commentary, behind the scenes footage and a kind of production journal, commentaries from the producer, cast, director, essay by Anton Battelle, interviews and discussion with the cast and director, uh, some just French subs, Spanish subs, English closed captions, reversible artwork. Um, looks pretty interesting. I'd like to know more. As you'd say, um, if you pick this up or you're interested in it, let me know uh, by all means your thoughts on these. Next up, uh, one that I am struggling to find out anything about. There's the back of the case. Burglar from Hell. A marauding, muscle-bound burglar named Frank the Tank violently invades the home of an elderly woman who promptly turns the tables, killing him with a shotgun and burying his corpse in her backyard before abruptly dropping dead from a heart attack. Several years later, a group of young friends unsuspectingly vacation together at the aforementioned beach house when their new witchcraft-obsessed acquaintance, Token, attempts to conjure up a rain spell. She inadvertently brings Frank the Tank back from the grave. One by one, the guests are gruesomely dispatched by the wise-cracking, pizza-faced, undead burglar in a staggering flurry of maniacal murder and mayhem. I can't find anything about this movie to see any clips of it. Now that synopsis sounds amazing, but you know, I I'm not um, I'm not going to fall for just a great synopsis. I need to know more on this one. Pretty please, if you know, it's a region free Blu-ray, new transfer from the recently unearthed SVHS master tape, audio commentary with writer director. A chip off the old block interview with director from pop scene to scream queen interview with actress Debbie D. Rockaway Beach Memories interview with actor Barry Gaines. Frank the Tank Speaks interview with actor Bryant Saul. Bonus movie The Wrong Side of Town. A Phil Herman's previously unreleased shot and video action feature debut. Newly scanned from the VH. SVHS Master, Mercenary, an early short film by the director, trailers, reversible cover art, and English uh, subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. I love when they throw in an extra movie as a bonus feature. I, it just adds to it. I know very little about this one. It looks, you know, well, you can see how it looks. Uh, I, I'm assuming that's Frank the Tank, you know, so it could be a miss for me on this one. Although I am curious, I will check out the reviews. Next up, we have Beauty Day. Now, I've wanted to see this for the longest while. Um, directed by Jay Chill, who is, is one part of the Film Junk podcast, which is one I do actually listen to. I think I may pick this up because it just looks so much fun. And as a fan of Jackass type of stuff, I want to see the precursor to that. Uh, before there was Tom Green, before there was Jackass, there was Ralph Zavadil. His Canadian cable access show, The Captain Video Show, ran from 1990 to 1995, spawning a small but loyal cult following. Each week, Ralph performed a series of idiotic and occasionally dangerous stunts, challenging the sensibilities of his small audience for five seasons. With the advent of the internet and reality television still years away, his unique brand of gross-out stunt comedy was truly ahead of its time. All it took was a broken neck for him to get noticed. Like I said, I, I know about this one. I, I've heard about it many times. It's a Region A Blu-ray, deleted scenes, Captain Video's 20th anniversary special, commentary with the director, original clips from the Captain Video shows, uh, with the discount coupon, it's going to knock it down to what seventeen fifty in dollars. I really want to see this. It looks pretty fun. Check out the trailer at least and see what you think. So, 
yeah. Uh, next up is another documentary from Terror Vision, Love and Saucers. Uh, the Strange Story of David Huggins, a 72-year-old Hoboken man who claims to have had a lifetime of encounters with otherworldly beings, including an interspecies... <laughs> <laughs> oh god it's great uh, an interspecies romance with an extraterrestrial woman with <laughs> with whom he lost his virginity to and chronicled it all in surreal impressionist paintings a few of which have never been seen it's only 65 minutes it's from 2017 region a blu-ray audio commentary with director and producer q a with a uh, david huggins Zoom interviews with um, a lot of people involved in the making of it, isolated soundtrack, reversible cover, and English subtitles for the deaf, deaf and hard of hearing. I, the trailer had me giggling. It was looked so much fun. Again, it's something I may like to see once. I don't know if I'd go back to it. A little bit cheaper, I may have taken a chance on it. Um, but you know, as curious as I am. And that artwork is terrific, uh, just delicious. Um, yeah, I, I, I think I may have to give it a miss. Next up, probably one of the most exciting titles, I would say, the second release from Canadian International Pictures, The Mob. This one is 32 bucks. Uh, so look, with the discount, it's going to work out about $16, $17. I may go on it for that because it seems like a cheap, a awesome kind of movie. Seasoned drug smuggler and thief franchise Chico Tremblay is tired of his modest lifestyle. Given the opportunity to earn 50000 killing a prominent New York City gangster, he leaps at the opportunity, ignoring the warnings of Montreal's leading mob boss, who has forbidden local criminals from taking the assignment. Upon his return, Chico discovers that he is being pursued from all sides, prompting an unlikely response. He calls a local talk radio show and starts revealing the Mafia's most carefully guarded secrets. As his revelations get more shocking, so do the tactics of his adversaries, culminating in a devastating gut punch of a finale. It looks amazing, folks. This one could be the dark horse uh, of all the partner titles. Region free Blu-ray, scanned and restored in 2K from 35mm interpositive. Criminals, Quebecos, a collection of criminal uh, Quebec film trailers from the 60s and 70s. Almost 40 minutes worth. Uh, Le Troube de Johnny, which is 21 minutes, a short bonus short, Hunger. Um, booklet featuring essay by Fantasia programmer Mark Lamoth and new interview with director. This looks so great. I, I'm a big fan of 70s movies, crime movies. It, it just looks wonderful. Check out the trailer. This thing uh, is something worth checking out. Next up, we've got Wicked World from Agva and Bleeding Skill. Uh, let's see. In 1989, filmmaker Barry J. Gillis and his friends received the world faith in Canada with the horror brain bomb known as Things but that was only the beginning Wicked World is not only Gillis' 1991 follow up to Things it's also a new form of genre anarchy Grant Eklund is a cop who is haunted by the death of his girlfriend at the hands of a psychotic slasher named Harold when Harold is released from an asylum there's only one option for Eklund revenge uh, region 3 Blu-ray original 1990 one version preserved in the three quarter video master 2019 director's cut reality the making of wicked world uh, a feature length documentary a video essay a tribute to eddie platt video essay tomorrow's dream martial law video original trailer and the subtitles for the deaf or hard of hearing um sounds great it looks like something I don't know if I would enjoy watching. So again, probably a miss for me this time round until I see the reviews on that one. Uh, next up, we have The Islands of Jan Gonzalez, You and the Night Altered Innocence. Now, 
bit of a weird one. Uh, horny monsters, erotic dancers, lonely youths, mourning lovers, and people who just want a party. Jan Gonzalez's cinema is full of unique islands with exciting characters, gorgeous cinematography, and hypnotic sonic arenas. Before Knife and Heart, these short films would go on to win Jan a devoted cult following and awards at festivals like Queer Pam Winning Islands. Um, also includes the English language Blu-ray premiere of Gonzalez's first feature, You and the Night, featuring the stud, the teen, the slut and the star as guests at a pansexual orgy thrown by a mysterious sexy menage a trois of Matthias, Ali and Udo. You and the Night is an erotic and wild take on The Breakfast Club. Um, it's got four music videos, four other works, compilation trailer, other trailers, 20-page booklet, You in the Night bonus feature, interview with the director, scene commentaries, technical uh, featurettes. Now, there's the back portion of that one. Big fan of Knife and Heart. Love it. This one, just looking at the trailers, nothing of interest really here. Uh, it's a hard pass from me on this one. And last... <sighs> Little fun thing from Vinegar Syndrome. It's April Fool's Day. They have done translucent slipcover prototype, which I love. I think it's funny. It's six dollars, right? Limited to one per customer. Straight from the Vinegar Syndrome Research and Development Department of Slipcover Science, <laughs> we bring you the latest in cutting edge home video packaging. The world's first translucent slipcover. No longer will fans debate at length in online forums as to what art is worthy of adorning our double-walled, highest-quality embossed slipcovers. For this new technology aims to please everyone by making it art invisible. By purchasing this product, you're supporting our continued research efforts to bring you the most advanced slipcovers in home video. If the R&D team is successful with this experiment, your item will ship out at an undisclosed date in 2022, provided we can still find them. The Vinegar Syndrome R&D Department of Slipcover Science is not only responsible for any accidents, casualties or any other events that may be caused as a result of bringing this experimental technology into your home, purchased at your own risk. And remember, just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Warning, final product may be different from what is in the picture or not pictured. So, is this a joke? Is it actually something? Is there going to be something put into your box? When it comes to stuff like this, I am an inherent gambler. I would like to gamble that they're going to do something. It's going to be something fun and exciting. Uh, hopefully just funny at the least for six dollars i think i could possibly take the gamble here so there we go it's a wild ride a whole lot of movies being released in april i will be getting the three subscriber packages i will be getting the fun uh, cities born to win i will be getting beauty day and i will be getting the mob and I think I'm going to put an order in for this translucent slipcover prototype just because, well, shits and giggles, really. And that is me, Spain. I would like to order more of these titles, but unfortunately, you just can't buy everything. Not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I would love to know if you are going to pick up anything from this plethora of titles this month. Of course, let me know in the comment box what you're getting and why? Is there anything that I've skipped over that I should reassess? Let me know so we can have a little discussion and maybe you can bully me into picking up something else. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time on Man V Film.